What is good everybody? Welcome to the game room, my segment on my channel where I talk about all types of things, all types of games, things about games rewards, summer game fest, Xbox showcases, PlayStation showcases, all types of things, the things that I enjoy and want to talk about. So leave a like on this video if you are expecting more content like this and let's get on into this. So Summer Game Fest opened up on Friday and was taken on from the taken about to the whole weekend. We had a dev, developers direct. We had all, all types of directs, all types of uh, commercials and games and stuff like that. Uh, but I wanted to highlight my top 10 favorites that I think you should be looking out for for the next 2024 and 2025 uh, release dates as these were the time periods as these games were coming out. Now, this list isn't really like my like concrete, hey, this is what you should be getting. Of course, there are many other games that were showcased, but these are just my games that I see I fit or my games that I am personally excited for and I want to share with you guys. So first game on the list is Sparking Zero. I got to put this first on the list. I mainly, mainly post Dragon Ball on the channel. You already know I love Xenoverse. I love Dragon Ball. I love fighters. Just not good at it. I love all types of games. Cap Kakarot, anything Dragon Ball game related. I'm with it, man. Sparking Zero. I'm ready for the squabbles. It drops October our 11th 2024 baby we've all been waiting for this release date since 2023 of march when it dropped at battle hour um 2023 and it had that little teaser trailer of him powering up and going super saiyan blue and it was just a crazy crazy thing to hear the crowd go crazy like that and just see that little tv of budokai all the budokai tenkaichis if you didn't know this is a recontinue or continuation in my opinion, it's more of like a pivot point, but a continuation of the Budokai Tenkaichi series, Budokai 1, 2, and 3, the beloved series of Budokai Tenkaichi, not just a beloved series of Dragon Ball fans, but a beloved series of fighting game fans in general. Anybody who's a fighting game fan knows how intricate and detailed that this Dragon Ball game was, and we all know that Dragon Ball or anime games in general tend to have that lacking ability when it comes to like generally being compared to like fighting games. Tenkaichi was it when it comes to that, and a lot of like my fighting game buddies are Jeff definitely just playing this game because they know this is going to be a great game with a deep roster of characters that we're going to be able to unlock and experience there's a lot of details i posted more on my channel so go ahead and check out my other videos i post a lot of spark of zero and dragon ball content you i don't even need to ex explain more next up on the list we have black myth wukong baby just like dragon ball that story was inspired by san wukong which is a prolific and most notable story of journey to the west the most notable story in china and even the western culture everybody who knows dragon ball knows that kiri Toyama took from this story and this game is being developed by game science and they are literally taking that story and bringing it to life the whole thing about his putting the gadget in his ear that whole trailer where he did that's a real thing that they you know they, they thought of as mythology and he's just the, the, called the monkey king the handsome monkey king just a little history about him he came from a little stone and stuff like that um i forgot the where the mountain it came from um but it i think it's flowers and fruits or something like that and it's just an intricate story go check it out on youtube there's a lot of videos discussing it. i did a deep dive on him just watching or listening to the sto story of journey of the west cool story and i'm really excited to see how they translate it in here i believe it's supposed to be coming out in august you can already pre-go pre-order now it's a coming out really in august that's when things start to get heating up uh no pun intended so make sure you guys check it out i'm definitely going to be buying it probably day one so let me know how it goes Next up, we have another fighting game, Fatal Fury. Again, I'm not really familiar with the series. I know of it because, you know, like my older cousins stuff play like play stuff like this. But it is a nice way to see a lot more fighting games kind of coming into the mix. Uh, I love the next generation look that fighting games is taking on. I believe it's coming out to I believe it's supposed to be coming out in 2025. So make sure you guys check, be on the lookout for that. I'm definitely going to be checking that game out for sure. Next up, we have Mecha Break. It's getting a beta in August. Uh, I'm I'm getting Transformers vibes. I'm sorry. I'm really interested in this. I, it's a lot going on on the screen when it comes to that trailer, but I really am interested to see how the game works or how it's supposed to be. So I'm definitely going to be checking out wherever that beta is. I believe it's supposed to be on PC. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm definitely interest, interested in that game. It just looks pretty cool. It looks different. I just want to check it out. Next up, we have Slitherhead. Slitherhead is slated to be coming out November 8th on PC, and I am definitely interested in this game. The guns and stuff that you can morph and change your skin into and stuff, I don't know who the soul is, but you like jump into people's bodies and like change into this monster. It's, it, it's, it's kind of creepy, but it's really cool. So I don't know, I, I don't know. It's really interesting to see stuff like that. It's really new. Again, I like seeing different stuff. I don't like seeing the same things. We've seen the same, we tend to see the same type of uh, games being made nowadays. And I like to see like, 
people like you know devs kind of using their imagination and kind of steering away from the realism a bit and kind of just using their imagination to kind of showcase where where they want to go with it next up we have killer bean i believe this is a on a correct me if i'm wrong a canceled series something like that i don't know really much about killer bean or anything like that but he looks really cool this dude did an alley hoop through his legs and tossed it over his head and just exploded a group of, i don't know that was kind of the sickest one of the sickest things i've seen in gaming i don't know that just off of that alone i was like i'm buying i don't know where this is at but i believe it's getting an early access on pc so i'm definitely going to be checking that out Next up, we have my Sonic fan, Jertu. Oh, Sonic Generations, Shadow Generations. It's coming out October 25th, 2024, man. This game right here is probably like gonna be the pivot point again for a lot of like these Sonic fans because I, I again, I'm not really big on Sonic, but I definitely played a lot of Sonic games, especially like on DS and stuff. But I, last game, last game I played was Sonic Frontiers. And I gotta say that one was pretty good. Um, when it comes to generations, I think I played the generations one time. So this is one I think I'm gonna definitely dive into it. My friends were going crazy when this game was coming out. So they're definitely gonna get their hands on this. And um, I, wanna, I wanna know what you guys think. What are you guys do, gonna do when this game comes out? Are you guys picking this up or sparking zero? Next up we have on the list is coming out a little later in November, Assassin's Creed Shadows. This is a very controversial game. Uh, in my opinion, I don't know why i don't really care i really care about the game and the gameplay and to me the gameplay screams yeah this is something i'm gonna want to dive into not even saying that yazuke is the reason i would it's really the assassin now eh? like i really love the intricate and like how detailed her character is when it comes to assassin creed it really emphasizes that yeah this is an assassin game so i would hope that the assassin would have more stuff to do than the actual guy swinging around a sword but yazuke is actually a great great character and a very digressed character and it's a very respected character in the, in the world that he's built in an npc world i like how he walk around and he like bows to him and stuff like that he just gives off this poise and this kingmanship that even if he's like a stranger or just this guy from a foreign land he still has respect he still has uh you know class and uh, the way he kills people is kind of brutal as well it's very robust and aggressive so i see the nature that they're trying to do they're trying to split it in two is you can go in soft go in loud they even showed this if you wanted to uh enter a castle you can go in as now if you wanted to go in quiet or if you go want to go in loud you go in as that's okay so things like that i think i'm interested in to see how they kind of tailor the stories and divert and um go different paths Next up on the list, we have Call of Duty Black Ops 6, man. If I had to say, we, we are back. I think this time we're back, man. This game right here, um, Call of Duty is a love, love and hate relationship with this game right here. You know, Black Ops and all the other series, you know, it, Black Ops is just different. And in my opinion, it's, one of, it's the best out of the series, in my opinion. Black Ops 2 is my all-time favorite COD. You can correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you, you can. Nah, I'm, I'm not wrong. You, you know, you can argue with me and opinions, but you know, I'm just gonna think it's, it's it's the best anyway. But when it comes to the actual overall gameplay of this, the omnidirectional movement, the attention to the campaign, which is something I'm really proud of, the multiplayer aspect. I don't know what they're gonna be doing with War Warzone. 300 gigabytes is in freaking insane. I'm gonna be getting it on Game Pass on PC because yeah, my PC can handle that. My PlayStation 5 is not gonna handle any other games if it gets that game. But yeah, if you're gonna be getting this game on Game Pass or gonna be buying it, let me know because that Game Pass day one release is actually pretty crazy. I wanna know what they're gonna do with that, with how the sales are gonna work with that and all that good stuff. But Black Ops 6 releases October 25th, 2024. So make sure you guys stay on the lookout for that. Next up on the list, we have Gears of War E-Day. Now, when I did have an Xbox 360 before I gave it away in 2014, I remember Gears of War being always being in my games list or in my uh, shelf on my um in my disc uh drawer. Or it was games, it was Gears of War, Dune. I only had Dune 3. That's the only Dune I actually ever played. I'm gonna get into that later, but I had Gears 1, 2, and 3. I never played 5. And I think this is 6, correct? Uh, what, 4, sorry. I never played 4. I played 5. So, that I have a little bit of hazy memory. Because when I played them as a kid, I was just like, Oh my god, I, I, I could cut people with the gun and poof, and shoot. And it just, it, just, it just really was like kind of messed horror was like action to me and i as a kid i was just really more concerned with the, the, the gameplay i'm not even gonna lie to you i was not paying attention to the story so i'm definitely gonna have to go back 
and really play through these games and really get where that story was going because it, apparently there's this cliffhanger that I just played through. I, I promise you that I played the game. I just, I really was just, just, as a kid, I'm just like, ha, 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 ha. you know what I'm saying? So uh, forgive me for that. But yeah, definitely going to be going back through Ge Gears of War. Definitely going to be playing that all, th all five of those games through and um, seeing what they have to offer for this next game. I don't think it has a release date or anything like that. It just showed a, tr a mini trailer, which was awesome, by the way. Well, yeah, I'm definitely going to be checking this out. Last game on the list, again, Xbox Showcase was lit, man. I, I, I gotta give props to Xbox, man. Great job, great job. Doom was a great, great first-person game that I thought was uh, very interesting to see um, play out in, like, the new day and age and new generation, uh, how games are actually working today. And th to see this f series go from, like, 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 90s all the way to now is, like, just crazy and, like, throwing of the shield and just the way you move it's just i was like okay okay i'm, I'm gonna try this one too because i only played one dune I, I actually don't remember i remember the dune i think it was pretty sure it's dune 4 or uh, I, I don't remember i think it was one of, it was one of the dunes i played one of them um i don't quite remember again hazy member with xbox xbox was such a short time for for me i kind of switched to playstation uh immediately after like maybe like three or four years after so yeah i, I kind of hazy with the games I didn't really have much games on xbox but yeah when it comes to that definitely i'm excited to check it out just because i want to try out more games and all that good stuff well that was kind of my summer game fest or my summer games fest if you want to um call it let me know what you guys' favorite games are in the comments we can chat about it talk about opinions let me know what you think about that new block ops i'm really excited about that that sparking zero i've already pe ordered it it's already locked in let me know what edition you guys are getting thank you guys for tuning in to my game room i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a like on this video if you want to see more and we'll get on some more gaming content peace